Hello and welcome to Top Story. Is it possible that the victory of Communist Party leader Demetrius Christofias in Cyprus's presidential elections at the weekend could pave the way for the reunification of the divided island? That at least is the hope of European Commission President José Manuel Barroso, who's urged Christofias to grasp this chance, as he called it, and start negotiations without delay. Sentiments shared, it seems, by the Turkish Cypriot leader Mehmet Ali Talat, who's called on Christofias to resume talks as soon as possible on reunification. Christofias narrowly defeated right-winger Ioannis Kasulides in the ballot, but perhaps the most important result came in the first round when the incumbent president, Tassos Papadopoulos, was edged out of the race. Papadopoulos is a firm opponent of the UN plan for the reunification of Cyprus. The island has been divided since 1974, when Turkish troops invaded after a coup by Greek Cypriots aimed at achieving union with Greece. Well, joining me now by satellite from Istanbul to discuss the possibility of progress towards reunification is Hugh Pope, a senior analyst with the Brussels-based NGO International Crisis Group. Thanks very much for being on Top Story. Uh, the, the leader of Northern Cyprus, Mehmet Ali Talat, said on Monday that Cyprus was entering a new era now and that he could vis envisage a solution to the problem of the reunification of Cyprus by the end of 2008. Where does that optimism come from? Good morning, Robert. He's right to be optimistic. There's, there is a window for, of opportunity that we haven't seen for some time in Cyprus now. And uh, that comes from various dynamics. One is the victory of uh, uh, Christofias on Sunday. He's an old friend of Mr. Talat. The two parties of the, uh, the left-wing party that supports Mr. Talat is Mr. Talat's party. And Christofias' is nominally communist Akel party have long had contacts. And when we met Mr. Christofias before the elections, he, he vowed that he would embrace the Turkish Cypriots with love and that they would find common cause. And, uh, as, as you mentioned before, the most important part of what happened in these elections was that the Greek Cypriot electorate gave a resounding no to Mr. Papadopoulos, who had been the one who had been the architect of the Greek Cypriot refusal uh, to go along with the Annan plan in 2004, which, as you know, was supported by the EU, the UN, the US and the international community. But, but opposed, interestingly, by Mr. Christofias. No to cement the yes was how he put it. Uh, we'll have to take that on faith. He has been in favor of the UN body of work, as we call it, the basic compromise that Turkish troops will withdraw in return for the Greek Cypriot allowing of some kind of Turkish administration in the north of the island within a federal, federal unitary structure. Uh, it remains to be seen how far Mr. Christofias can go and uh, how quickly, because uh, even though he has won this, uh, this uh, election on, uh, on Sunday, he he did it with the support of Mr. Papadopoulos and uh, th two other parties that uh, were uh, um, uh, in the previous uh, government. So it, it, there may have been uh, election deals. There will certainly be ministries which will go to uh, Mr. Papadopoulos's party. So there may be... Uh, Mr. His hands may be Mr. tied. Yeah. His may hands may be tied in the embrace, yes. And to a certain extent, too, I mean, he, he's limited in how far he can go by the electorate. The, elect the, the Greek Cypriot electorate uh, voted fairly strongly against the uh, Kofi Annan plan in 2004. Has very much changed since then? I believe it has. It's uh, interesting that in, in uh, the 76 percent, as you mentioned, that voted against the plan in 2004 uh, was, I think, uh, partly due to Papadopoulos, the leader, the leader of the Greek Cypriots was giving a very strong message that this would be a no a treachery to the national cause. And also uh, it was a kind of shock in the Greek, among the Greek Cypriots that this is what the deal is. It, we have to give the Turkish Cypriots uh, 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 what the Annan plan called a constituent state of their own in return for the withdrawal of Turkish troops. That was the first time that the Greek Cypriots had actually been faced with that, that uh, bitter pill to swallow. And it is a bitter pill because the Greek Cypriots obviously feel violated by the Turkish, uh, the Turkish uh, invasion. But the fact is that uh, certainly the crisis group, we believe that it is absolutely vital for the Greek Cypriots to get, a, uh, to get a deal of some kind. And we think that the Greek Cypriots have changed. And it's clear that the business elite, the intellectual elite, and underneath the nationalist discourse, in the population at large, many people are saying, 
hang on, if we don't do a deal, we're going to be left with a messy partition, and that could be worse than no deal at all. So there's a lot of talk about what, what should be done, and I think that's why there was such a strong showing for the two pro-solution candidates in the Greek Cypriot elections on uh, uh, Sunday and the week before. Hugh, what about the Turkish side of this equation? Because Mr. Christoph here says, is saying now that the ball is firmly in their court. What, what can Turkey offer to the Greek Cypriots, if anything? Well, we have to remember that in 2004, it was Turkey that took the initiative, that said we we're going to be one step ahead, that supported the Turkish Cypriots to go into negotiations in good faith uh, in order to withdraw the Turkish troops in, in return for this constituent state. The Turks said yes, the Turkish Cypriots said yes. It was the Greek Cypriots that said no. Now, the Turkish government is saying we stand by our decision in 2004, and the Turkish Cypriots as well. Mr. Talat says he wants to enter into... Uh, 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 on the basis of roughly the same UN body of work that has been around for decades, the solution has been clear. But that's where um, the problem lies the, as far as the Greeks are concerned, isn't it? Because they're not happy in particular about the, 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 the aspect of the former plan which would allow Turkish troops to stay on the island. This is indeed was a problem in the uh, in the uh, Anand plan. Uh, we will also remember that there were alternatives were offered in the Anand plan. For instance, uh, uh, UN Security Council guarantee, and it was the Greek Cypriots themselves that seemed to have asked the Russians to veto that. A very rare Russian veto in the Security Council. So, if security was the question, there were ways that people were trying to get it. In our report on Cyprus, which came out last month, we suggested that we could be thought that these guarantees, which include the 650 remaining Turkish uh, troops on the and could perhaps be removed in the case that uh, if and when Turkey joins the European Union, in which case both Cyprus and Turkey would be part of the same family as it were, and there would be no need to keep troops within the context of a demilitarized Cyprus. So there are ways out of this if there is the political will for negotiations on a comprehensive solution. How important, briefly, because we're coming to the end of the program, how important is it for Turkey to get a solution uh, to the Cyprus problem? You're going to have to say that again, Robert. I'm sorry. I How that. important is it for Turkey to get a solution to the Cyprus problem? I, th I think you're you're asking about the Turkish the Turkish solution the Turkish will for a solution. Uh, the um, Turkey is uh, desperately needs to get Cyprus out of the way to, in order to uh, restart its uh, uh, talks with the European Union, which are currently more or less uh, 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 stalemated because of uh, yes, because of Mr. Sarkozy's opposition, because of Mrs. Merkel's stated preference for a partnership agreement with with Turkey. But actually, structurally and institutionally, the most important problem for Turkey with the EU is the. And I'm, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to inter problem. interrupt you there. That's all we have time for today. Thanks to our guests. Hugh Pope of the International Crisis Group. Join us again tomorrow for another edition of Top Story. Goodbye. Sorry, the program dedicated to international news was brought to you by Le Monde.